What's up guys? Welcome to another video of Joy Planes RC. Today I'm gonna show you how I did this um, I don't know how to call it. It's a wearables project because I'm using electronics inside of this sweater Which is really cool looks really nice and uh, you can use it for many many things Although this one looks like a Christmas jumper or something like that But uh, the idea behind this is like you can program these lights for anything you want any color any pattern so it, is, it looks just amazing if you uh, arrange all the lights in the right order and program the Arduino because this is using uh, an Arduino uh, or any compatible Arduino board which is easy to program and uh, using just a library that you can download and using the examples you can uh, do this. I just, I'm just using an example from the fast LED library so you can customize this any way you want and make it look really cool to impress your friends or whatever project you have in mind. This idea comes from Adafruit, is a YouTube channel and also it's a company located in New York. They build a lot of uh, electronics compatible with the Arduino and they do a lot of wearable uh, things. So it's not my original idea, but I'm gonna show you how I build my own PCB to hold the LEDs and to make the connections easier. This is the first version. This is not the way I wanted it to look because it's, it got really hard to put every LED in place. So I'm working on a second version right now, which it will be ready for the next month or next video will be in two weeks or something like that. So stay tuned for that. But right now I'm gonna show you how I did this and all the possible uses with these LEDs. Like this one's right here is the same, using the same PCB uh, module that I built for this project, but you can break them individually or use them in a little strip for drones or stuff like that. And also this is the same LED shape set that I used in the last video for the RC boat, which used a large um, strip on each side and it was reacting to the throttle I was applying on my radio. So that was a cool one, so make sure to check it out right here. And uh, let's begin with this. So first I designed a PCB, which is going to work as a breakout board for the chip or the LED that I'm going to use. I'm using ECDA, which is from the same people of JLC PCB, which is the company where I'm going to order the PCBs for $2. Yeah, $2, that's amazing. In the description of the video, you will find a link to this project so you can modify it or just order some more. So here we are in JLC PCB. We can see a preview of our PCB and then we'll start selecting some options. I'm going to select two layers. The size is selected automatic according to the design. I'm going to choose a thin thickness, about 0.6 or 0.8 millimeters. I'm going to lift the mask in green color so the price doesn't change from $2. And where it says panel by JLC PCB is where the magic happens. Just like Jess. And then we're going to fit as many PCBs as possible in one large PCB of 100 by 100 millimeters. Because this PCB is really small, we can fit many of them. I'm going to choose 6 by 5, which is 30 of them in one PCB. The good thing is that they're going to be pre-cut, so it's going to be really easy to snap them off. Just be careful leaving a margin of 5 millimeters on each side, that's 10 millimeters, because that's what it needs to be built. So in the end, we're not gonna have 10 PCBs. We're gonna have 5 times 6, 30 times 10, 300. So we're gonna have 300 of these little PCBs, which is amazing, because we're just paying $2 plus shipping. After ordering the PCBs, I wait for about 3 days, and this is what I get the usual JLC PCB box with the package inside. Everything is well packaged and protected. And then we have our beautiful PCBs. Let's open it. Here they are. Now I'm gonna try and snap them off. And it's really easy. So we have 300 of these modules. And it's a pleasant feeling breaking this up. It's like popping the bubble grab. Anyways, I'm gonna start placing the components and soldering them. So I'm going to use these LEDs. This is a WS2812B and a 100 nanofarad capacitor. The good thing about ordering from JLCPCV is that you can order from LCSC some of the components. 
That way you will get everything in one box and you don't have to pay extra shipping or wait any longer. So I'm going to show you really quickly what you need to install in your computer. You need the Arduino IDE and then you need to download the FastLED library, which you can find in the description of this video. And after you've done that, you can open the example projects that you can upload to your Arduino. In this case, I have already one open, but you can find that you can find examples around here. You go to FastLED and then you load for example the demo reel 100 if you load that which is the one that i already have open uh, you can modify here a few of the settings for example the data pin which is the pin that goes to the data input of your leds so you can modify this to any other but number three is a pwm uh, output of the arduino so that's that's okay there you can uh, use number five or any pwm uh, compatible outputs. Here you have to change this to the chipset that you're using. In my case is the WS2812B. So I'm gonna use that. Here you can see it's changed to a blue color which is accepted. And then the number of LEDs that you're using in your array. So in my case it's like 10 of them in my jumper. So <laughs> that's the number there. And then you upload this to your Arduino or whatever you're using. And after that, you just power your Arduino or microcontroller with the battery and it starts to work. So I'm gonna start soldering with the first components. I was trying with one single PCB, but I found out that it's really easy to solder all the components on the large PCB with all the modules together. And then when we're ready, we can break them up. Now you can see that we have a lot of modules. I'm gonna use a few of them to solder some pin headers and then demonstrate how we can use them on a breadboard. The design of this PCB was intentional to be used in singular modules to have some pin headers soldered to them and use them on breadboard or in clothing as we're going to do right now. We can also use one strip of five LEDs that we can use for drones or any other application. I'm gonna start working on the actual project. First, I start sewing the modules on the cloth. And as I work with this, I start noticing that these modules are not gonna work out very good for this project. There are several problems, starting with the little holes that doesn't allow some needles to go through. And then when I try to solder anything to the pads, the thread melts away. I use enamel copper wire, and sometimes it didn't work because it broke. So I also use a very thin regular wire for the connections. The main idea was to use conductive thread which is special for this kind of projects, but the pads on the PCB are really close to each other, so this PCB is very small for this, and when I made some nuts with this special thread, they touch each other, and that way it doesn't work. So that's why I had to use regular wire or copper wire for this. But in the second version, the design of this PCB will be improved. That will be for the next video. The microcontroller I'm using is an Arduino Nano, but you can use a DigiSpark, an Arduino Pro Mini or something similar. There is a wide range of power options. I'm using a LiPo battery, two cells, which is a little bit dangerous, so be careful with that, but you can use any AA batteries packs and many different kind of battery packs for this project. The main goal is to have five volts available. And here you can see the final result. I uploaded one of the example sketch that has the fast LED library to the Arduino, but you can program your own patterns. Maybe in the next video I'll do that. For now, this is the end of this first version video. And if you don't want to miss the next version of this video, hit the subscribe button. I hope you liked it and you find it helpful. And I'll see you in the next project.